hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today's tutorial is on how to draft a pencil skirt and this is not just any kind of pencil skirt this is a pencil skirt in which you will achieve a snatched waistline a curved butt and also get rid of wrinkles at the front of your dress so guys this is what you're going to do go ahead and draw a line and that line will serve as your waistline and then go ahead and also mark in your hip line mine is eight inches below my waistline i marked eight inches i also marked eight inches at this other point and eight inches at this other point this is just so i can get a straight row after doing that go ahead and mark out the length of your skirt mine is 25 inches and I added one inch, which is 26 inches as my sewing allowance. Now this is my waistline. This is my hip line. And this is the full length of my skirt. So guys, note that the front pattern is actually unfold, especially if you're cutting directly on your fabric, make sure that your front pattern is unfold. So go ahead and insert your waist measurement. Mine is 26 inches, 26 inches divided by four is six and a half inches. So I marked six and a half inches. I added one inch, one inch for that intake and one and a half inches for sewing allowance so after that i went over to the hip line and also marked my hip circumference divided by four which is 38 inches divided by four is nine and a half inches and i also added one and a half inches for my sewing allowance and for the full length i took the measurements i have on my hip line which is 11 inches and i minus one inch from there so on the full length there i marked 10 inches so after marking just go ahead and connect those points with your ruler After that, I used my French curve to smoothen the edges, just so that I don't have a sharp edge around that area. So, for my bust pan, my bust pan is seven inches, which is my nipple to nipple measurement. Dividing that by two is three and a half inches. So, I went ahead to mark three and a half inches on the waistline. And then mark three inches above the hip line I use my ruler to connect the points together and also I marked half an inch on both sides And connected the points together with my ruler so guys take note of this to avoid wrinkles at the front of your skirt you're going to go down by half an inch from the waistline just mark half an inch below the waistline and connect that point to the side of your skirt pattern this will not by any way affect the length of your skirt this is just to avoid your skirt having wrinkles at the front and to give it the proper fitting now this is all for the front pattern you have a new waistline I went ahead to label this the front pattern. 
let's work on the back pattern go ahead and draw a line on your back pattern and name that line center back because that is your center back line so guys before my center back line I have a measurement of two and a half inches before that line you can make yours three inches four inches or five inches depending on the inches you want to allocate for your zipper allowance but for mine i took two and a half inches before my center back line i went ahead to mark out my hip line on the back pattern so that i could properly place the front pattern to the back pattern After doing that, I went ahead to pin the front pattern and back pattern together and then cut out the excesses I have on the back pattern. So guys, take note of the waistline. The waistline for the front pattern is not the same with the back pattern. So that you don't you don't make the mistake of placing the waistline of the front pattern to align with the waistline of the back pattern So guys go ahead and keep the front pattern aside so that you can work on the back pattern now for the back pattern go ahead and insert your dart measurement which is your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two mine is seven inches seven inches divided by two is 3.5 and then mark two inches above the hip line and connect the points together with your ruler after doing that mark half an inch on both sides of that line and this will form your dart i went ahead to label my lines i have my waist line and my hip line now on the hip line go out by half an inch from that hip line go outward by half an inch and on the waistline go inward by half an inch from your center back line connect those points with your French curve Now for below the hip line, you'll be using your ruler to 
connect it down to the center back line you can go down by five inches below the hip line but i went down by nine inches below the hip line this is depending on how curved you want your butt to appear let's take notes taking half an inch away from your waistline will not affect your measurements this is just to achieve a snatched waistline and also going outwards on your hip line by half an inch is just to accommodate your butt this is not going to affect your measurement now after doing that just go ahead and insert your zipper allowance i marked one and a half inches as my zipper allowance and I used my hand to connect those points together just in case you don't have a French curve or a ruler you can always use your hand to you know trace out your pattern now this is my zipper allowance If you have any excesses before your zipper allowance, go ahead and trim that off. So guys, here is my skirt pattern with three major features, which is the snatched waistline, the curve butt, and wrinkle free at the center front. So guys, this is the end of this video. And if this video was helpful, kindly like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.